everybody, it's the Duloc 900. Welcome back to more Pokemon Black. I know you may be thinking, hey, wait a minute. You're early. Yes, I know. I'm early. Turns out I actually got home a little bit past seven, and it's currently a quarter till eight at the very moment. So anyway, yeah. Surprise, I'm home early. It was kind of an early thing for me as well. But anyway, um, in the last episode, we defeated... Lorena at the Nacarine City Gym, and Team Plasma escaped with a Dragonite Skull. In this episode, we are going to be going after them at Pinwheel Forest, so we can kick some serious ass and take some names. Oh, hello. This leads to Pinwheel Forest. Oops, hang on a second. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Alright. If they manage to scuttle off into the forest, you might have trouble. No crap. Okay. Well, you see, there are two ways out of Pinwheel Forest. The road that goes straight and the path that wins through the woods. I will take the straight road after them. If they're not there, I'll block the exit. Would you please? Ugh. Will you please take the other way and check out whether Team Plaza is hiding in there somewhere? You run into a lot of trainers, but it's basically a single path. So I'm sure you won't get lost. Come on, let's do this for Lorena's sake. True that, I do not want to see her mad. Alright, well anyway, um, while we're going through here, while well, I'm also switching my team around, um, in the interior pinwheel forest, I'll go ahead and talk about this. Um, we have some new encounters in there that we can find. Two of them is Siwano. And it's a Fallen Form Swan Loon. Yes, you can actually find both of them out here in the wild. The Swan Loon can be found by rustling grass. Um, Swan Loon is actually a very defensive Pokemon. And, honest truth, a lot of the grass and bug types that you can find out here are actually pretty worth your time. So, I would actually recommend some of these grass type Pokemon as well. This one is actually not a bad Pokemon in terms of defense wise. Next up. It's Cottony and it's evolved on Wimis Guy, or how you pronounce its name. Um, unlike Swan Loon, this one line is actually pretty quick. And I actually looked at this, it does have the way of learning the ability, um, Chlorophyll. If you have that, it will become one of the fastest grass types in the game. So, if you want to have a fast Pokemon, what happens? Actually, yeah, yeah, I'm right. I'm right. It is actually, it is a defensive Pokemon. I was actually thinking of something else. Okay. Now, next up is a Patilly, and it's evolved from Lilligant. Like I said, the Pokemon that you can find out here is actually pretty worth your time. Lilligant is actually another good Pokemon that I would recommend. It's a good special attacker, and it's actually very balanced, unlike many bug and grass types. At least I think it's a grass type. Well, I know it's a grass type for sure. So if you want to go with a Pokemon such as that, you can only find Lilligan, but only through the rustling grass. And it is a very good Pokemon. Next up is one of my personal favorites, Venipede, and it's evolved form Whirlipede. Like I said, the Pokemon you can find out here are actually pretty worth your time. Whirlipede is obviously no exception, but holy crap! It may start off as a pretty defensive Pokemon when you find it. But, if you can get this thing up to level 30, it becomes one of the fastest, and not to mention one of the best bug and poison types in the game. I would definitely recommend this one a lot. And if you can also get its hidden ability, Speed Boost, I'm talking about its final evolution. Yeah, very fast, and Packs quite a punch. Okay. Come on, you're just a kid. I kid off it. I didn't get a chance to read all that. But hey, speak for yourself. You guys have a big ego. I mean, a really big ego. Okay. And where was I? Ah, uh, yes. Now, you guys remember that pan porn that I picked up from that trainer? from uh, a few episodes ago. Well, anyway, 
now I'm gonna go ahead and cover each of those three Pokemon because you can actually find them out here in the wild only in the rustling grass. Pan Sage, Pan Seer, and Pan Poor. Now I'm gonna cover all three of these at once. You wanna know why? Because all three of their stats are identical. So, no matter what, you got some pretty good Pokemon. The one that I probably would recommend a little bit more is arguably Panpour. If you haven't gotten a good water type already from before. If you haven't even picked Oshawott, uh, Panpour is a good second. Okay. Um, anyway, they're pretty decent Pokemon and they're pretty quick when they fully evolve. Which requires the use of one of the elemental stones. Which is a very good hit thing. And that's why I imagine I saved that for this particular part in the game. Since they can only evolve well not evolve, but they can be found in the specific part of the game. Now, only found in the rustling grass, you can find Bidoza Evolution Tranquil. If you didn't decide to get a Bidou from before, you can actually find um, Tranquils out here. Uh, I'm actually going to catch one off screen so I can mostly use it as my flying slave. My fly user. It's not going to be on my official team, but I am going to use it for the time being. I know I'm talking a lot, but we got a lot of Pokemon out here that we can find. But don't worry, this is the last Pokemon that we're going to be seeing that's new for a little while. I'm going to get this item right here. Big Root! That is a good item, the Big Root. If a Pokemon that has a move like Mega Drain or Giga Drain, I think it will drain more HP, which is a very nice item. I don't really recommend it for anything else except for just that. Well, obviously. Okay. So anyway, Easter's still going on at the moment. So, how was your guys' Easter? Did you guys have fun? I know I did. I went up north, visited some relatives. I actually celebrated my grandfather's birthday. And my grandparents, they're well into their 70s and we're still having a good time. <laughs> and they haven't changed at all from the time of when I was young. I mean, that's probably the best thing any grandparent would ever say. Right over here. When their grandson would say, Please, you haven't changed at all back when I was a kid. And trust me, that's saying something right there. Anyway, I know I'm getting off topic, but I know it's just a, it was just a kind of a crazy turn of events for me. That's all. Like I'm home earlier than I thought. I mean, it's just mind blowing because I thought I'll be home like close to the dead of night. And unfortunately, I don't think I can get repels. But I mean, that's not really gonna matter that much. Actually, you know what? Nah, 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 I'll be okay. So, uh, before I go any further, there is actually someone that I actually battled off screen, and this person is actually a very useful NCP. You want to talk to this person? Tough trainer, I will make your Pokemon healthy. Yeah! Instead of going back all the way healed constantly, you can just talk to that NCP right there, and she will gladly heal your Pokemon. That's awesome, I like that. Okay. Oh! Oh! I patrol pinwheel for us every day. A battle here is a piece of cake. Wait, do you not notice that plasma grunt right there? Hey, Forrest! Use your eyes! You got a crime organization member right in front of you! Why don't you just do something? Uh, what am I talking about? Now. What? Rude? Oh, this is bad. Uh, let's see here. Let's switch out to Shocker. Shocker hasn't been seeing a lot of good attention. I think it's about time we change that. Whoa! Okay, let's hop on faster than it. Yes! I'm gonna give it a thunder wave just so I can hinder its speed. Sorry, Shocker. 
Okay. I didn't really intend to get into this fight, but I'll do it. Oh, come on! Oh, thank God. There we go! And unfortunately, I don't have a revive on me, so that would have been useful to help out with... Poor little... Shocker over there. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot these rangers give you a berry! This one in particular is a Chesto Berry. Ooh, we got a super potion, nice. Yeah, yeah, I'll get it. Okay. Alright, let's get going. Oh, jeez. Oh, what? First step onto the grass? What the hell? Oh, hey, Cockney. Okay. Uh. No, thank you. Okay, so I gotta avoid this trainer? Yes. Probably should have checked to see if there was any repels from before. But, I don't care at this point. It actually doesn't really matter, because I'm going to be coming back here to do a little bit more off-screen training before what's coming up. Okay. Oh. Crap, it's one of these. Yeah, this one's a required one. It doesn't matter. We got ourselves another ranger here. Alright. Alright, Audra. Let's see what you got. Ooh, a pan sage. Okay. I'm game. Leer. I've been using my Leer strategy a, a lot. Does that helps out with its? It helps out with my attack because it's lowering its defense, and that leech is not helping me much. So let's see if I can try to take it down in one hit. Nice. All right, Bingo's a level 19. Atta boy. You and Pokemon make a great team. Why, thank you. Alright. And she gives us yet another Chesto Berry, which awakens a Pokemon. I think I got it right this time. What is this? Got an antidote over here that heals poison, which is good. Is there anything right here? Nope. I'm hoping there's no more of those... Ninja... What did I just say? Alright, at least she still has another Pokemon. These are some required fights. I don't need to worry about it that much. Shush your face. Okay. I'm gonna use my same strategy. Because like I said, their stats are very identical. Like, they're all the same number. I'm not kidding. What the? No, Hurtier! Okay. Okay. In this situation, all that comes out is a sigh. True that. What do you give you? Another Chester Berry? Ooh, a Pekka Berry. That, re that restores poison. Wait, I turned to the right. Ooh. Ooh. I've actually been at, at war with myself in case I, because I kind of wanted to catch that Whirlipede. Well, not Whirlipede, Venipede. So I could use it on my official team, but I actually have decided not to do that. But a part of it is like punching me in the face saying, DO IT! Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, is there an enemy? How about, how about down here? Ah, a tiny mushroom. Okay. Went up. Oh, hello. You. Okay, you know what? It, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So you made it this far. I'll hold you here so my friends can get away. We shall see. We shall see. All right. Really, a patch rat? Couldn't you have done something better than that? Like, say, 
A whirlipede? Oh boy. Baha! Fortunately, I planned for this. A lot of these grunts at the beginning sh usually use patch up with the bite ability. But since I'm using Leer, now I'm gonna take you down by using Takedown. <laughs> yeah. Our rules are, and your rules are different. Yep, I'm here to buy time, and if you don't step lively, we're going to get away. You hardly did a thing! What is this? A paralyzed heal, or paralysis heal. What, another one? Oh, well, let me guess, let me guess. You have a panseer. And if I'm not surprised, You'll probably use Yawn, and you'll try to make Bingo drowsy. But I got news for you. It ain't gonna work. Oh! You use Incinerate. Alright. boy, Bingo! Who's gonna learn Work Up? Yeah, I'm actually gonna decide against it on this one. Alright, did you feel my wild wildness? The way how you use that whip there? Not so much. Okay. Okay. Let's see here. There's an item out there, but I don't want to go out and get it yet. I'll, I'll get that off screen. Um, uh, let me switch my team around. Unfortunately, I don't have a revive, so that's gonna be a problem. Okay. Hello? A pursuer. Uh, <laughs> a kid like you beat some of us? That can't be helped now. But I'll take you on now. Alright. If it's a game you want, it's a game you'll get. Now how about you give me a challenge? Unlike the other meatheads in that I went up against. Went up against, they didn't stand a chance. Oh. Well, excuse me. Uh-oh. 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 Doesn't matter! I'm safe! Alright. Got another Patrick? Alright. I'm game. What you got? What you got, boy? Let's see you survive this one. Ooh, a sand dial. All right. We haven't run into these yet, but we're actually getting pretty close. Like, like another two more. Watch well, another route past the city. But we're oh, okay, nice. Okay. And Salazar's at level twenty-two. <laughs> yeah. Plasma. If this gets up. We won't have. Huh? You know what? These things go by quick. Anyway. Fine. Take your stupid skull. Why, thank you. So the dream of our king had, the dream we had, won't come true. You. How are you holding up, fellow subject of our king? Go on with the seven sages. I'm mortified that this skull, which uh, we went into so much trouble to obtain, was stolen from us so easily. It's not important. We can afford to abandon the Dragon Skull. According to the results of our research, this is not the legendary Pokemon for which Team Plasma is looking. It is completely unrelated. But we will not allow anyone to disrupt our plans and get away with it. We will fix it so you never interfere with us again. Oh sweet! The bug Pokemon were getting all worked up so here I come. And what do I spy with my little eye? Disappointing looking guy. Are you here to help your friends, whom I defeated? Derek, Burke, the others didn't have anything. And who are you supposed to be? Is this guy the big boss? I am one of the seven sages at Team Plasma. Gets us, another of the seven sages will liberate Pokemon with words alone. 
The, the remainder of the seven sages have ordered their compatriots to take Pokemon with full force. But the odds are a little against us now. To you, the bug user Berg and the normal Pokemon user Lenora, I say. Know your enemies. Know yourself. And you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. This time, we shall retreat quietly. To secure the liberation of Pokemon, we will steal Pokemon from trainers. Even though you are gym leaders, we will not tolerate any further obstruction from you. In any case, we will settle this someday. I hope you are looking forward to that time as much as I. They're a speedy bunch. What are you planning to do, Berg? Are you going to chase them? Hmm. We got back the stolen skull, and if we corner them, there's no telling what they might do. I think I'll be heading back, Lenora. Well, now, well. I'll be waiting here for your challenge at Castelia City's Pokemon Gym. Yes, indeed. I'm certainly looking forward to it. Derek, you're holding the dragon skull you worked so hard to get back, right? Derek, thank you so much. With a kind trainer like you taking care of them, the Pokemon who are with you must be happy. Here's a token of my gratitude. Please use it carefully. She gives us the Moonstone! An evolutionary stone. Some Pokemon evolve when you use this item on them. Now, I must take the Dragon Skull back to the museum. See you. Take care of yourself. We most certainly will. I will anyway. Um, what's this? Miracle Seed! That slightly ups the power of grass time moves. You know what? You bet. I'm gonna do just that. I'm gonna give Salazar the Miracle Seed. Okay. Now, we do have some trainers out here that are required. And, whoa, I do not want to battle. I do actually, I'm actually going to try not to battle any of them. But it looks like I may not have a choice. I didn't know you looked the other way. Would you please look the other way, please? Would you look the other way, please? Thank you. Okay, okay. This one's some, this one is some required, so I'll show off this one. And then I'll finish it up from there. School kid Sammy. Alright, Sam. Let's see what you got. I have time for one more battle. Alright. Oh. Forewarn. Okay. Then you must know that I'm using it. What the? You don't yawn at her in a snoring breath at me. Or a sleeping breath at us. Anyway, a rat of light shone in. Thank you. Okay. Alright, so that should be everything. Okay. Alright. Heal up really quick. Um, before we go any further to Castilia City in the next time, I'm actually gonna head south from here. See if uh, what kind of stuff can be found down there. Because I never had a chance to do that yet. But I would like to do a little more exploring around down there. To see if uh, what kind of stuff we can find out there. But anyway. Uh, with all that said and done. Oh, I can buy repels. Holy hell. Wait, I had a repel the whole time? Are you kidding me? Okay, but you know what? No big deal. Anyway. Uh, we're actually going to go ahead and end things off right here. Next time on Pokemon Black, we will be heading on towards Castilia City after we do a little bit more looking around at the exterior of Pinwall Forest, just south of it. See you guys then. The greatest stat is a